Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, in case you didn't know, we've been broadcasting live on you now for a little over a week and it's been playing on YouTube as well when we're up live so you guys can watch it here as well. But one question that's come up a lot, it's actually several questions, it's about raw vegan diets. What are our thoughts about raw diets? Um, have we ever been raw? Why are we no longer raw? So I thought I'd share my experiences here with you about raw vegan diets. So yes, we were raw vegans. Andrew and I were raw vegans for about nine or 10 months uh, back in like 2011, 2012. I went fully vegan in 2010. And like I said, a little bit after that, we discovered a raw vegan diet philosophy, like David Wolf, we were reading stuff like that at the time, you know. His recipes called for lots of, you know, nuts and seeds, just, you know, way too many calories from fat but I didn't realize that at the time until I started going to the gym and just trying to do stuff that's really simple like warming up for basketball shooting free throws and stuff like that and I found I would just run out of energy after like 10 15 minutes tops and Angie would feel horrible too so we realized something was wrong and fortunately right at that time I don't know how it worked out but I found out about high carb vegan diets you know smashing down tons of fruit you know bananas that whole thing and instantly felt way better so I think we did the high fat for maybe two three months and did the high carb raw vegan diet for about maybe six seven eight months after that so why am I no longer a raw vegan well I had several issues with the diet and these are just mine if they're not problems for you cool I'm just sharing my personal experience here so anyway my number one problem with a raw vegan diet was I'm a big guy I'm like six foot five that's almost two meters tall 180 pounds that's about 80 kilograms I'm a big guy and that means a big person needs to eat a lot of calories and I found it pretty darn difficult to eat enough calories to satisfy what my body needs you have to be eating all friggin day and not doing pretty much anything else anyway I found I was actually losing too much weight yeah that can be a problem even when you're eating a lot of food here I am at the Woodstock Fruit Festival 2013 pretty much any of my raw vegan days right there and you can see I'm pretty freaking lean I think I I look back now at these photos and go, wow, I'm just way too lean. And here's some photos of me from now, and I weigh about 10 pounds more, and I think I'm looking a lot better. That's my personal preference, especially for the sports I play, like basketball, tennis, surfing. You want to have a little bit of muscle on you, and my goal was never to be like super stick thin like I was in the raw fruitarian days. It was just what happened to me from you know not being able to get enough calories to satisfy what my body needed. So that's what happened with my body, but my mind too had benefits gains from going from raw to how I eat now you know mixed raw and cooked when I was um, not getting enough calories yeah my body got thinner and just the mind is not at as ease too just more anxiety more nervousness I didn't feel as good as I do now when I'm eating plenty of calories never like going to bed hungry my body's satisfied so mind and body win and while I'm on the topic of getting enough food and calories Let's talk about fruit management. Always having the right amount of ripe fruit, you know, not going bad, not underripe, the right amount of ripe fruit every day for all three meals. And for us, for two people, it's really hard to do. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Undeniable fact. So since when you leave the house, you can't wind up at Chipotle if you're hungry, you got to bring some fruit with you. So for me, that was dried fruit, in particular, dates. I love dates. I brought them with me wherever I went. Unfortunately, I have some already pre-existing dental situations, some deep gum pockets. So when you eat dates or any dried fruit, they stick to your teeth and they worsen any gum situations you might have, which happened for me. And unfortunately, I had to get one of my teeth pulled. Yeah, one of my bottom molars is gone now. Also, too, I did some research on some of the, the big claims about, you know, the benefits of raw diets, like, you know, the enzyme theory, you know, how there's enzymes in plants and they do the same work as digestive enzymes in the body and they actually don't and how, you know, cooking food destroys nutrients and actually cooking food makes more food biologically available than in its raw form. So once I started learning, I wasn't really going to be losing out on any big benefits from having cooked food. I actually tried introducing cooked food sounds so horrible into the diet adding in some like simple things like potatoes white rice steaming veggies and I noticed nothing bad was happening to me in fact 
I was at worst feeling the same and most likely I was noticing I think I feel a bit better. I feel more full. I feel like I have more energy. I just feel more happy overall in general. So, and eventually I started adding more and more cooked food to where I'm at right now. I'm not sure what my percentages are. I know pretty much every morning when I have plentiful fruit, I'll start off raw, you know, with my smoothies. But yeah, for lunch, dinner, could be a mix of all sorts of things. So you guys know how we eat now. You can always just check out Angie's book, Keep It Card Baby, a little plug there to see how we're eating. So anyway, hope I didn't offend you here. I was just trying to share my personal experience, my journey going from, you know, high fat raw to high carb raw to how I eat now, just a high carb, plant-based vegan diet. So anyway, share your comments down below. I know you're gonna anyway. And um, hit like if you got something out of my little journey video here and share it with a friend who's dealing with these issues. And um, I think that's it. So until next time, guys, as we always tell you to do here and I do, keep it carved, baby, keep it carved.